This is our beautiful planet, Earth. There are about 7 billion people, millions of different species, and 250,000 types of plants that inhabit Earth. The Earth is surrounded by the ozone layer, which protects us from the sun's strong UV rays. Unfortunately, the sun's UV rays have become one of Earth's biggest threats, and the people are just adding on to this problem. The sun is gradually making its way through the ozone layer, which is causing temperatures to rise on Earth. This is what we call global warming. People on Earth are only making this problem worse by causing deforestation, pollution, and worst of all, emitting greenhouse gases such as CO2. All of these problems are causing temperatures to rise. The rise of temperature leads to the rise in sea levels and the melting of glaciers. Especially in colder areas like Antarctica, melting glaciers are causing the extinction of many animals, such as the polar bears. So you may be asking yourselves, what has been done to solve this problem, and how can we stop it? As of 2012, in the U.S., the Federal Interagency Cooperation and the U.S. Global Change Research Program have collaborated to focus on advancing the understanding of climate science. But how will all this affect U.S. foreign policy? Global warming can cause benefits and consequences with our relations to other countries. Global warming exasperates natural resource scarcity in sensitive regions in the world, fueling inter- and intrastate conflict. Despite global warming's terrible consequences, there is a bright side to it. With the need for solutions, global warming can help bring nations together to help end this problem. One of these attempts was the Kyoto Protocol, which was an agreement linked to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. This agreement set emission reduction targets for all of its members and recognized that developed nations were the cause of global warming. Global warming may seem like a global issue, but if everyone contributes to solving this problem, it can be stopped over time. A simple flick of a switch, or even turning off the faucet when you are not using the sink, can make big impacts in stopping this problem. So let's all join together and save Earth.